G'day, I'm Mark Carbonaro, CTO at IOVOX. I'm often asked to join sales calls to help potential customers understand what makes us different technically. It's really quite simple. It's our API. We get called on to help customers create solutions to real business problems. And we have what we think is the most flexible API in the industry. Some even think it's more reliable, affordable, and easy to use than Twilio. We're proud to support customers like Autotrader, Zoopla, Carboat Media, OVH Cloud, Immobiliary, REA, and many others around the world with a platform that has really helped their business in some way or another. Give us a call or send an email and I'll connect you to our sales team. As a fellow Aussie, my best wishes for a successful APAC conference. What I want to do is go through uh, quite a lot of the uh, initiatives that we've been working on and we've deployed. We're obviously working on new ones uh, continuously, so these are some that we've already launched. And, and the reason behind some of these, but really what we're trying to do at the moment, where everyone's going down the transaction, is to build tools, insights, and products that our customers and consumers can use to make their experience with REA more engaging. So that's sort of the ethos that we're working towards today to show you exactly how it's working. But before we start, we've obviously got COVID in the midst and uh, Melbourne is still in lockdown. But I thought I'd just go through some of the audiences and what we're seeing on site, and then we'll go through a little bit about COVID later on. But what we've got at the moment is we've seen some amazing traffic and maybe that's because people are locked inside and, and uh, they love a, a love affair with property. But we've got over 12 million unique audience now sitting on realestate.com.au with 114 million uh, visits. And what was interesting over the last month is you can see that 3D tours have increased substantially due to the fact that uh, Victoria was in lockdown for quite a while. Hopefully the Melbourne metro area will come out. Um, and the other states have obviously started to come out and digital video inspections. So we can talk a little bit about that later on, but just to set the scene that traffic is at almost an all-time high. Um, so as far as people looking on realestate.com, we've still got all the consumers coming to the site. Uh, we talk about innovate and grow your business. And one of the things that I heard a lot of uh, the guest speakers talk about was uh, home loans. And obviously what we've done is we've gone and bought a home loans business called Smartline and integrated that back into the business. Uh, and this is an important part because basically nearly everybody that purchases a property needs a home loan. So that's pretty important to us. And we have over 350 brokers uh, that work for the Smartline organization. And the idea is to leverage the consumers that come to REA, their own network, and then also help uh, these Smartline brokers with data and insights from the realestate.com.au uh, website. So that's sort of talking, and I think, um, uh, some of the guys before we're talking about um, having home loan divisions, but we've definitely got one and we're focused on that. The next topic I wanted to go talk about was giving back to the industry. And this was a session we called Prop 20. And the idea is to have an event where we could bring in a whole heap of guest speakers on a range of subjects, uh, present them on stage, uh, have people attend the event um, and, and really engage with our agents. Um, what ended up happening, unfortunately, was we had the Melbourne event and the Adelaide event and then the uh, COVID hit. So what we ended up doing, I'll, I'll, I'll run a short video of what it was and then I'll show you how we digitised the whole event so that everyone around the rest of the country can have a bit of a look at um, what we actually delivered. So all that said coming, we, we ran the event and we ended up building a website out of the need because of COVID to be able to give people uh, the same experience that the Melbourne and Adelaide um, agents and developers and commercial agents had. And just running through the site a little bit, you can go on there, it's, uh, you can log in, register yourself and have a look at some of these um, unbelievable events, talking about data and insights from some of our own team, looking at mastering your craft from outside uh, experts then looking at, um, are, are you future ready? Can you market to millennials? So 
quite a lot of information and that's where we're investing a lot of our time and effort is to make sure that we're actually working with our customers to give them the right tools and information that they can make informed decisions on uh, the real estate industry and also our particular uh, website. The next one I'm going to give uh, a quick look at is a platform called Ignite and Ignite is a admin style ad, a platform where agents can log in and look at all their listings, the stats, the views, the leads, um, have a look at uh, what we call audience maximizer results. So when we um, advertise on Facebook and Google and drive traffic back and, and the agents are using this when they're talking to vendors and making sure they're informed about what's happening in the area. Um, so we, we're building out on this Ignite platform, but I'll show you a video on how that works and it'll give you a bit of an idea where we're heading. Manage your success on realestate.com.au and stay ahead of the competition. With Ignite, you can get the latest insights on your campaigns and download reports that you can share with your vendors. Receive and respond to inquiries so you never miss an opportunity to move your properties. Keep track of your reviews on realestate.com.au and share them with your social communities to position yourself as a local expert. Manage your personal brand so you can showcase your point of difference to potential vendors. Accessible anywhere and at any time. Ignite sets you up for success and positions you as the leader in your market. Access insights on the go by downloading Ignite by realestate.com.au. So obviously a fantastic tool that helps our agents uh, be in touch with exactly what's happening on our site. Um, how their uh, properties are performing and be able to give uh, information back to the vendors in a timely manner. Uh, another product that we've, it, it's really new, we've only just launched it, is self-managed landlords. Uh, and we're given the ability for these self-managed landlords to be able to add a property to realestate.com.au. It's the first time we've allowed this. Uh, but when we look at the market, there's over 30% of properties that are managed by self-managed landlords. And the idea is we want the consumers to come to the site and make sure they have an experience where uh, they can find all the properties that are currently available and we we're missing a small segment of that. Uh, we made it, in, it made it so that um, the self-managed landlords will get incentives and there'll be special, um, uh, we, we've incentivized the agents that we know that sometimes self-managed landlords will want to use an agent for one or more segments of that particular um, rental pathway. Uh, so the idea is we, we were trying to connect these private uh, landlords to the agents, which was part of the whole strategy. Uh, this also has a video, so I'll show you how it works, which is quite new. So this has only been out for about a month. At realestate.com.au, we're focused on delivering you as much value as possible for your rental listings. One way we do this is by continuing to grow Australia's largest audience of renters with an average of 18.9 million visits to the rent section each month. We know that renters expect to see all available rental properties when searching on realestate.com.au. Currently, 297,000 privately managed properties place tenants each year. This is why we're launching a new experience to provide landlords with the choice to either find a property manager or list directly themselves, depending on their needs. Our research shows that 33% of landlords currently self-manage their properties and 24% of the self-managed landlords we spoke to told us they were considering switching to a property manager in the next 12 months, which means there's significant potential for you and your brand to be seen on realestate.com.au by a new and untapped segment of landlords. Here's how we're providing landlords with choice when it comes to advertising their properties. When a landlord decides to find a tenant on realestate.com.au, we'll ask whether they want to engage an experienced property manager in their local area or list themselves. If a landlord decides to look for a property manager, they'll be able to search by suburb for agencies operating in their area. If they select your agency, they'll be taken through to your agency profile, which is optimised to drive conversion. Even if they choose to place the listing themselves, we'll remind them once it's live that they can still connect with you if they need help finding the right tenant or managing their property. And don't forget, we have other great tools like... Rental 
dealers and property shapes to ensure your agency's brand is in front of landlords when they're searching for a property manager. To learn more about how you can stand out to this untapped segment of landlords, speak to your account manager today. So great video that explained exactly how that works. Um, the next one I'm going to show you, Simon, and, the and everyone out there is a campaign that we ran to talk about off market. So we're hearing the marketplace that a lot of agents were having a lot of off market properties, which to us was important that we get these properties on our site and to educate the consumer of why you should advertise on REA and to be able to cast that net or make sure that you find that person that might be interested in your house that's not in the agent's database. Uh, and to make sure that they, you request it to be listed on realestate.com.au. So here's, there was a four, uh, there was four uh, ads that were built and they're advertised on TV. I'm gonna play the first one and the fourth one, and there's two in the middle that you can find on YouTube. And it gives you an idea of how we set the scene to make sure that we're educating the consumer that off market might not be the smartest option and that to advertise on REA, just make sure that you can, uh, uh, guarantee that you've actually got the highest possible price for your house. So I'll play this video now. Interesting idea, that one. Selling off market by stealth. No photos, no listings. No buyers. The other agents all said the more buyers you reach, the more competition, the better the result. Why would you want to advertise? Ah, uh, so we don't spend the rest of our lives wondering if we left, say, a few hundred grand on the table? realestate.com.au has millions more buyers than anywhere else if you're selling advertise on the number one so that was the first video we ran and i'll show you the last video that we ran that tied it all together i've always loved that house i'd buy it in a heartbeat if it ever came on the market no matter how many people wanted it why don't we put an alert on it so if it does come on the market we don't miss out excellent idea no one would be so dim they wouldn't advertise a property like this if they were selling it see no advertising no listing and we almost got what we paid for it realestate.com.au has millions more buyers than anywhere else if you're selling advertise on the number one so there's a couple of the initiatives um, today I wanted to also talk about COVID and what we had to do in the Australian market and basically when COVID came along we had to make sure that we kept the stock on the site and the way that we made sure that we did that is offer some fairly great incentives to our agents, developers and commercial agents. So across the board we offered around 50% off their subscription for the four months because we wanted to make sure that there was a lot of content on the site. Uh, with some of the property developers we offered some display advertising to push traffic back to, to their projects. Uh, and we also offered a uh, upload your property now and pay later uh, offer where once the house was sold that you were able to, to, um, to pay for the fee. So it took the risk out of advertising in, an, in a time where COVID was having some major impacts where agents couldn't uh, do open for inspections or it had to be one-on-one -on -one or like now in Melbourne at the moment, we can't actually have a, a property inspection. Uh, we hope that will change very soon. Um, so we had to put those, place, uh, those offers in place. The other thing we did is we made sure that the agents and the consumers were well aware of what was happening. So what we did is um, started educating real estate agents on how to build digital inspections. So when the COVID came out, we had a number of, uh, a lot of clients wanting to look at, hey, can we actually supply 3D tours? Uh, so we tried to get them online as fast as possible. And then we put these help lists together for real estate agents to say, um, this is what a digital inspection should look like. Here's a bit of a tour. How does a digital inspection work? Creating a great inspection video, getting the basics right, planning your videos in advance, introducing. Uh, and then there was a bit of an a update with Tom Panos uh, and talked about digital inspections. So we're trying to give this information back to the agents to make sure that they can continue to work in the industry uh, while we had these COVID restrictions in place. We also put a lot of data out. So what we're doing is this is September the 16th and we're actually bringing out what we call buyer demand index. So looking at the engagement metrics and we were tracking that over a period of time and we can see that nationally we started dipping down but it's been quite healthy. And then in here you can go through to Victoria or New South Wales and have a look at how each of the demand index for buyers engaging with property uh, is. And then we can come down and have a look at some other state-based buyer activity on the total house and unit. So the idea was to give a lot of these types of insights so that uh, consumers and agents knew exactly what how the site was performing um, to make sure that they upload the properties and still continue to uh, list with us. 
So that type of information was important to us. Um, the other stuff we, uh, the other things we were doing is making sure that we still had a presence on TV and in the marketplace, making sure that people were thinking about property. And this was a TVC and it's still running actually today, uh, educating uh, the industry or the, or the consumers to come and have a look at property on realestate.com.au. So I'll play with that now. realestate.com.au has millions more buyers than anywhere else. When selling your home, make sure it's on realestate.com.au. So just showing everyone the YouTube channel, you can see that we have a load of different videos talking about a load of different subjects, everything from painting your house to renovating, uh, living in a tree house. Uh, there's so much information sitting on this particular site that we've got a lot of people coming to that particular section. Uh, and then what we've also done is actually branched out and made sure that we've got people coming to the site if they're not in the market to buy a house, but they're interested in uh, renovating outdoor living, look, organizing and cleaning, that we have a site there that can actually engage consumers while they're not necessarily looking to buy or sell, but they're just looking around to do things to their own house. Um, so we're getting a lot of traffic to this particular section, which basically starts with news and information about what's happening in the marketplace. We've got an insight section in here that talks about how, uh, you know, who's coming to the site, where they're coming from, um, how they're tracking. We've got guides and how-to guides in here, everything from buying, selling, investing, and renting. So you can see just in the investing section alone, there's over 243 articles. Uh, then we can come up, we've got lifestyle, and then some videos that are sitting uh, in, in the system as well that they can go and have a look at either on YouTube or in our own environment. So they're just some of the things that we're trying to do to make sure that we can um, tie back to consumers and to our customer base um, by providing these insights and tools to make their life easier. Scott, thank you for that. Um, fascinating to see the, the, the vast range of initiatives that, uh, that you're rolling out in the, the Australian market. Um, when you look at all these initiatives, um, which, which ones have resonated best and have got the best take up? Well, I think that they all resonate to different uh, uh, different types of either customers or consumers. So there's not one that necessarily resonates. The agents love the Ignite platform for obvious reasons, because it makes their life easier to get the information. It's on their fingertips, it's in app format, so they can be on, on the road and get all the data they want. Um, obviously the uh, TVCs are making sure that we connect with consumers. Um, private landlords is helping solve an issue where we were missing 30% of all private listings uh, for, for rent on our site. So each one's filling a, a void in a gap and a lot of it's all around data as well. So we're working on a lot of data products. And these are just some of the things that we've done over the last six to 12 months that are having an impact on our business. And we've got a, a massive pipeline of new initiatives, which I'm sure we'll share in the future, Simon. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Now I've got a, a, a couple of questions that come in. Um, one is why has REA not progressed the Zillow I buying model in Australia? Uh, we haven't, we haven't really looked at it at this point in time. So, um, obviously, the, the current st structure of how we operate is a little bit different to the way that the US market operates. So at this point, we haven't investigated whether the, whether the iBuy model was suitable in Australia or not. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll give you my 10 cents worth on why not. I think if, you, if you're Zillow and you've got about a billion revenues and a billion costs um, and, and you're not making any money out of your advertising model, you've got to look for ways in which you can actually uh, stimulate the market, especially the um, equity markets to, to like what you're doing. So I think there's, that's one element of it. And get, clearly moving into the iBuyer model is a way in which you can scale the business and there's a story that is gobbled up by Wall Street and loved. So I think that's one element. The second is you have to, if you look at what, what um, REA does in Australia, it's highly profitable. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's highly ingrained into the everyday life of real estate agency. Um, and it's very much uh, uh, selling a different product and a different service to what they're selling in the US. In the US, the advertising products are bought by the agents out of their own pocket. And it's all about uh, a, a freemium type model. It's free to list and then you're paying for the upgrades. In Australia, the advertising products are primarily bought by the home seller and the real estate agents are uh, almost like an outsourced sales force. So it's a very, they're very, very different models and the yeah. need to disrupt 
the highly successful REA model with an iBuyer model, which I think a lot of agents in Australia would see as competitive, whether it is or not is irrelevant. They would feel it's competitive yes. and, and, and they'll feel that it's um, uh, uh, something that they've always feared, I think would be uh, uh, incredibly crazy thing to do. So yes, I, 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 I think we know that, there's a couple of people playing in this particular area, but um, we're watching what they do. But yes, with the, the vendor funded model sitting in Australia, that, that's working extremely well for REA Group. Yeah, and, 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 and thing that works very well for, for Zillow is that there's a lot of vanilla in America. So you can get highly accurate um, AVM models and you can analyze the market to death. And so you've, you've got a pretty good idea of what the right buying level is and then the right, uh, the, the right level investment. I think Australia, there's a little bit less vanilla um, in the houses. Um, and there's, there's clearly a much smaller market to go after. It's about, uh, uh, for those who aren't aware, it's probably about 8% of the population of the US. So it's a very, although the same land mass. So I think that the, the underlying infrastructure is something that makes it uh, uh, probably a bit more problematic and, 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 and much higher risk. And why would you risk what is a 12, 13, 14, 15 billion dollar business on, uh, on chasing after what is going to be much lower margin because it's the other thing you got to remember, right? Is that you're, you're currently at what, 40% margin in Australia, more or less? Um, after what is uh, a much more of a high volume, lower margin business in, in, in the, uh, in the I buying model. So no, I, I don't, I don't believe it's a, uh, a smart move to be made. Scott, thank you very much. Um, G'day. I'm Mark Carbonaro, CTO at IOVA. I'm often asked to join sales calls to help potential customers understand what makes us different technically. It's really quite simple. It's our API. We get called on to help customers create solutions to real business problems. And we have what we think is the most flexible API in the industry. Some even think it's more reliable, affordable, and easy to use than Twilio. We're proud to support customers like AutoTrader, Zoopla, Carboat Media, OVH Cloud, Immobiliary, REA, and many others around the world with a platform that has really helped their business in some way or another. Give us a call or send an email and I'll connect you to our sales team. As a fellow Aussie, my best wishes for a successful APAC conference.